so I thought I would make mention of the fact that sometimes you can solve these exponential equations without using logarithms. For example, if this first problem had been 2 to the x minus 3 equals 8, we could have written this 8 as a power using the same base as on the left side. And if powers are equal with the same base, the exponents have to be equal. So we can go from here to x minus 3 equals 3, so x equals 6. But that's not the case with this problem. So we have to use logarithms to solve for x. And if two numbers are equal, then their logarithms are equal. You can use common logarithm, natural logarithm, log of any base that you want. Usually we use natural logarithms. So ln of 2 to the x minus 3 is equal to ln of 7. And then we use the power property of logarithms to move this exponent down front. And that allows us to isolate the x by dividing both sides by the natural log of 2, then adding 3 to both sides. So there's the exact value for x. And here's kind of a picture that proves the point. This red graph is the graph of 2 to the x minus 3. The blue graph is the line y equals 7, and they intersect at the point 5.807 comma 7, and that is actually close to the value uh, of ln of 7 divided by ln of 2 plus 3, 5.807 dot dot dot. Okay, and uh, for the next problem, ln of x plus ln of x minus 1 is equal to 1. We are going to collapse these two logarithms into 1 by using a product property of logarithms. The sum of two logs with the same base is equal to the log of the product. And so this is x squared minus x. And if I write this in exponential form, I'll be saying this base of e raised to this exponent will produce this anti-logarithm. X, x squared minus x is called the anti-logarithm of 1. Uh, now we have to solve this quadratic equation for x by setting it equal to 0 and using the quadratic formula. So there's what x equals. 1 plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c. The opposite of e is just what the c is all over 2. There's the two values that we get when we solve this quadratic equation, but we have to reject this one because you cannot take the logarithm of a negative number. And if we go back to the original equation, we try to take ln of negative 0.722, we'll get undefined. So this is your exact answer right there for that second problem. Uh, there you go. Hope that helped. If you have any questions, post a comment.